This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. Warning, vulgarity awaits. What's going on guys? You are about to witness a collection of some of the worst skills in Borderlands. Yeah, that's right. We've got everything from skill point traps to straight up video game dishonor and sin. Top five worst skills in Borderlands the pre-sequel. Go. Number five. Winter's Fury on Aurelia. So this is a skill that knocks enemies around. Normally I like skills with knockback as you can temporarily stun enemies and shoot them in the face. But did anyone that designed Aurelia think about the fact that this skill makes it more difficult to snipe enemies? Oh yeah, this is also a 5 out of 5 skill point trap where your hard earned skill points are wasted. In true Vinylic Puma gaming tradition, what a pile of fuck. Number 4. Meteor Slam on Wilhelm. Basically all this skill does is increase the radius and distance of your butt slam attacks. Now, may I ask why you need 5 out of 5 points in this? I can barely tell the difference between not having Meteor Slam as opposed to have it. And besides, it doesn't increase damage at all, so what's the point? Now, normally at this point, I'd say something offensive about your mother because I'm so angry, but yo mama jokes can wait for now. On to the next shitty skill. Number 3. You've got red on you, on Athena. You know, normally I'd be angrier than I currently am. The only redeemable aspect of this skill is that it has a cool death animation, which... I mean, blood spattering is violent but cool. Anyway, as for it actually hurting anything, good fucking luck, man. What's worse is that this is supposed to emulate and was probably inspired by Corpse Explosion from the Diablo games and Path of Exile. Corpse Explosion equals amazing. You've got red on you equals what a boatload of ass. Number two, pickpocket on Nisha. Here we go again, man. More video game tributes that end in absolute failure. You know how pickpocket is actually a good skill in most RPGs, especially like Skyrim or Fallout? Well, not in Borderlands. All this skill does is allows you to steal up to six bullets to refill a measly portion of your magazine. The problem is, is that with Nisha, enemies are going to be dying so quickly that you'll never get close enough to actually melee shit. Who thought that this was a good idea? What a dog shittier ass clenchery pile of fail. Or fuck. Whichever you prefer. God damn it. Number one. Hyperion Punch on Claptrap. You know, I actually kind of like Super Smash Brothers. It's probably one of the reasons to own a Nintendo game console. But Hyperion Punch is an absolute disgrace to the captain, man. You know, that captain that can perform a certain punch that has the potential to knock the ever-living fuck out of an opponent or knock them off the screen into oblivion. Is Hyperion Punch as good as that bird punch? Fuck no. Ugh, God. Okay, so I'm gonna tell my yo mama joke now, and I'm gonna offend you and say some awful shit about your mother. Yo mama so fat, they used Google Earth for her school photo. <laughs> All right, that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. If you did like this video, please be sure to leave a like and let me know what do you think is the worst skill in Borderlands the pre-sequel or Borderlands 2, even Borderlands 1, whatever. Anyway guys, take care and I'll see y'all next time.